Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, isosceles triangle ACD fully confined in a semicircle with the center O, oh, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, ACD is uh, 37 degrees. And moreover, uh, this side length uh, AD is equal to this side length uh, CD. Furthermore, as a result, we get uh, this angle uh, BAC as uh, x uh, degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, angle uh, x. In other words, we are going to calculate this angle uh, BAC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's focus on this uh, isosceles uh, triangle uh, ACD since uh, this side uh, is equal to this side. So therefore uh, this angle is going to be congruent to this angle. If this angle is 37 degrees then this angle is going to be 37 degrees as well. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this uh, theorem the sum of three interior angles uh, must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore in this uh, triangle uh, ACD if this angle is 37 degrees uh, this angle is 37 degrees uh, then this angle uh, has got to be 106 uh, degrees. And if we add uh, all uh, three angles uh, it adds up to 180 degrees indeed. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to connect uh, these points uh, B and uh, C as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem if A, B and C are our three distinct points on the circle where the line uh, AB is a diameter then the angle uh, ACB is going to be a right angle. In other words, it's going to be a 90 degree angle. So no wonder our this angle uh, ACB turns out to be 90 degree angle. Since uh, AB is the diameter and the points uh, A, B and C are on the very same uh, circle. And now let's recall the cyclic uh, quadrilateral. According to this, uh, if all vertices uh, of quadrilateral lie on the very same uh, circle, then such kind of quadrilateral is called uh, the cyclic uh, quadrilateral. As you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram, all these points uh, A, B, C and D lie on the very same uh, circle. And furthermore, uh, the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral have a total of uh, 180 degrees. In other words, they are our supplementary angles. So therefore, if this angle is A, this angle is C, then angle A plus C is going to be equal to 180 degrees. And likewise, if this angle is our angle D and this angle is our angle lowercase b, then uh, B plus uh, D is going to be 180 degrees uh, as well. So therefore we conclude that our this uh, given quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D is a cyclic uh, quadrilateral. Since all of its uh, vertices uh, A, B, C and D lie on the very same circle. And furthermore uh, the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, angles uh, is going to be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore if this angle is 106 degrees uh, then this angle uh, ABC is going to be 74 degrees. And here is our final step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall once again the triangle sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. We know our this uh, angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees. This angle is uh, 74 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle X uh, has got to be 16 uh, degrees. Since the sum of all uh, these uh, three angles turns out to be 
180 degrees. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 16 degrees. In other words uh, this angle x uh, is uh, 16 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.